In this video, we'll find the exact value of the secant of 5 pi over 6 using SARC. So SARC is just an acronym to help you keep all your steps organized to make sure you don't miss something in your analysis. Um, so breaking it down quickly before we begin, the S stands for sketch the angle. We really just care about the terminal side here. The A stands for ASTC, which is another acronym, and this one helps you decide which trig functions are positive in each quadrant. Then you'll be able to make a final determination for your answer, should it be positive or negative. And that way you don't have to worry about it for any of the other steps. Um, you simply know it's either positive or negative. The R stands for reference triangle. So you'll find the reference angle and the triangle and coordinates that go with it so that you can use those coordinates in step four. The C stands for calculate. You'll calculate your trig ratio. So we'll do this today for the secant of five pi over six. So getting started, S will sketch our angle. We're gonna sketch the terminal side, um, like I mentioned before. Looking at our angle, we should notice two things. First, that it's positive, so we know we're rotating in the counterclockwise direction. And second, we should notice that it's less than one rotation. So as we start to sketch this, I like to work my way around counterclockwise. Here's zero, here's pi. And sometimes it's helpful to rewrite pi so that it has a common denominator with your angle. So rewrite it as six pi over six. And then I think it's really easy to see that five pi over six would be just a little less rotation than that. So its terminal side would fall about here in the second quadrant. Okay, now that we know that we're ready for step two, think ASTC or a phrase that could help is all students take classes. So again, this tells you which trig functions are positive in each quadrant. So work your way around labeling starting in quadrant one a, S, T, C. So in quadrant one, they'd all be positive. In quadrant two, only sine and cosecant are positive. Okay, we want the secant, so it must be negative. Let's go ahead and make note of that. And now we can work with only positive values for all the rest of our calculations because we know our final answer is supposed to be negative. Um, just in case you had an angle in quadrant three or quadrant four, know that tangent and its reciprocal cotangent are the only ones positive in quadrant three, and cosine and secant are the positive ones in quadrant four. Now we can find our reference angle so that we can get our special right triangle and coordinates to work with. A reference angle is simply the amount of rotation from your terminal side to the x-axis, so that's this right here. Well, we know our angle is five pi over six, so to get to six pi over six, we know that's just another one pi over six. Okay, and that in degrees is 30 degrees. So we should be working with our 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. So 30, 60, 90, that's the one with the longer horizontal leg and the shorter vertical leg. And so knowing your special right triangles, um, if you don't, I'll post some videos in the, um, I'll post links in the video description that'll have a video on a review of those special properties. Um, but we should know that the X coordinate here is root three over two and the Y coordinate is one half. And now that we have our coordinates, we can calculate. Okay, so for the unit circle for an angle, the secant is going to be equal to one over X. It's just the reciprocal of cosine. Okay, so here's our x coordinate. We know we're trying to find the reciprocal. So you can write it as one over square root of three over two, but we know that's really going to cause that bottom fraction to flip to two over root three. And then we need to rationalize that. So multiply it by root three over root three. And you see that that finally will be a value of two root three over three. Eventually you'll get to the point where you just know that the reciprocal of square root of three over two is this two root three over three. So practice enough exact values and that becomes second nature. All right, so that's the value. Don't forget to look in step two and we've already labeled that our final answer should be negative because it was a second quadrant angle. And so the secant of five pi over six must be negative two root three over three. Check the description below if you'd like to see some more worked out exact values. I'll post links there. Keep on practicing these exact values. The more you practice, the better you get. Thanks for watching.